Ik heb een goede morgen. 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 Ik heb een goede And you are listening to Coffee with Cartos from the Cartos Protection Association and with Marika and I. And thank you for tuning in. As you can see, I'm working from home. I'm a bit out of sorts. And if you hear a dog bark or my son walking or coughing, then <laughs> that's what that's all about. But please turn those likes and shares into rands and cents. No donation is ever too small or too big. And we would like to give a huge shout out to Anna for always commenting and supporting our Facebook page. And thank you to Eileen for supporting us and donating to our Coffee with Cartels program. Today's episode is sponsored by Cape Vet Equine Practice, who endeavors to provide professional, dependable and knowledgeable services to their clients at all times. They are available weekdays for routine and specialized work and provide a comprehensive 24-hour equine emergency service after hours including weekends and public holidays. They treat all our injured cart horses at a moment's notice and Dr. Larvin is also a member of our committee. If you want the best care for your horse or horses, please contact this dedicated all-woman team. If you wish to sponsor a program, for an episode of Coffee with Cart Horse for just 500 Rand, please contact me on the email below. I would love to hear from you. Today's lineup, roadworthy carts, the components of the cart, and why we use a flatbed cart. <laughs> I have had such fun researching the topic on the District 6 and Cape Heritage Society Facebook page. A real, real must-see. It all started with a cup cut, which is a two-wheeled, four-seater carriage drawn by two horses. It was used to carry passengers, taking nurses to work, and delivering the mail in the days before railways, and was one of the fastest means of transport available in the region. This is where it all started, and that the working cart horses are a proud part of Cape Town's heritage dating back to District 6, where they lived and all thrived. Back in the day when it was not so difficult to organize an event in and around Cape Town, we hosted a Heritage Day Parade at the VNA Waterfront. Um, I would really love to do one of those again, but oh, what a show it was, and the owners with their cart horses did not disappoint. With immaculate carts, and proud horses pulling them with ease, it was a real, real sight to see. If you look back at the history of the VNA waterfront, the pictures will show you that the horses were used to offload and distribute the cargo from the ships, so once again, an old age heritage. This is normal standard of our wines. Wat ons verleden die verwerkt is getreed. Hier gedeelte sê ons die disselbome. Die disselbome. Die rede van twee disselbome, die gaan een perkie hier in. As het een disselbome is, dan sit ons twee perkies in die karkie. So die weinkie is vir een perkie. Hier gedeelte noem ons die swoveltree. Dit maak ons die Traces aan vast die strenge, zodat die perkie die wijnkie kan trek die af. Dit is die sitplek vir die koetsier. Tek vir die koetsier. Die sy trap waar hy opklim, dit is nie onder die wiele in balantie. Die wijnkie het ons nou twee sy planke opgesit. Rede vir dit is die skrep wat hulle optel nie afval nie. Achter noem ons het die karret, die sy boord af aan vastgemaak, wat ons ook verwacht, is dat die manne moet, sy wiele moet hard wies, 
en die wielen moet een lijn loop met elkaar. Het is maat het gemakkelijker voor die, voor die ver om die wijnkie te sleep als die wielen een lijn loop met elkaar. Dit is al normal standard. Ons krijg ook die flatbeds, wat hier die seie op het, wat ook gemakkelijk is voor die perkjes om te trek. So ja, dit is ons normal standaard. Hierdie gedeelte is noem ons die springe, met die gewicht van die, van die vrachtvat. En dit het ook een bounce in, so as die baankie oor een speedbump of in een gat gaan, dan val hy nie dood en dan het hy so een bounce in hulle. Hierdie gedeelte noem ons die voetskoppe en met die dashboard so as die koetsier optrek, breistrek, dan het hy ten minste plek om vast te trap wanneer die peert probeer stop. Ons sal hem nou moet, moet so bykie net verweeg dat jy kan sien omdat het een vierwielwaaienkie is, het ons voor een draaishaft ingesit. Rede vir dit, so die waaienkie kan draai. So as die per draai, dan draai die waaienkie saam met hom. So die voorgedeelte het ons een draaishaft in, wat maak dat die waaienkie kan draai. Een tweewielwaaienkie het ons nie dit nodig he, van dan draai die per so maar so makkelijk met die tweewiel. Maar een vierwiel het ons nodig dat hy een draaishaft voor in het. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I loved how little Billy the Pony came to look what we were doing with his cart. <laughs> Folks, if you've just tuned in, you are watching Coffee with Cart Horse. And this month, our focus is on the cart. It is really important to maintain the cart because the cart itself weighs 250 kilograms. And any load on top of that is what the horse has to pull. And if the cart is not maintained properly and the horse can't pull it easily, then it makes the load all the more heavier for the cart. So this month, we are asking you to donate towards our um, cart workshop where we help to maintain carts. We offer this service completely free of charge to the carties. They can show up anytime and Ashley and anyone who's available will help them fix their carts, pump a tire, do anything. As you saw in the video before, um, no, actually you'll see in the video after, <laughs> we will show you what the cart workshop is all about. Um, and I would just like to remind you, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy to donate. You just go to our page. There's a big orange button that says donate. You click on that, you fill in the form and we get donations to help the horses. Meneer Solomons het sy waar, sy tisselboom sy eisters gebring. Tisselboom is te gebring. Vraai kan ons nog net tisselboom eisters maak. En maak ons het warm. Kul ons het in. En maak ons net die vater wat boop die tisselboom kom. En dan gaan hy bol en nat. Kan die inzit in het vast skroef. Dus waarom ons nou bezig is om die gaten te maak. Het al begin om die gaten te maak. Okay, so you, so you're fixing the cart. Yes. You are standing. Someone is standing. Somebody is right into the wagon. Yo. Which horse? Lady June. Lady June. And she's okay. She's okay. Yeah. Yes, she's fine. Gorgeous Lady June. <laughs> As you can see, we do so much um, needed work to make sure that the working cart horses are happy in their work. Up next, the world's ugliest dog. This 17-year-old Chinese crested defeated nine competitors a few weeks ago in, a, in the world's ugliest dog contest in California. The champ was adopted as a rescue last year by Janada. During the pandemic, she wanted to adopt a dog. At the shelter, she was told about an older dog with health problems, a creature that could be inbred because he was so ugly. The shelter staff tried to prepare her for what she was about to see. She saw a creature who was, <laughs> goodness, who was indeed old 
and needed a second chance and deserved to be loved. Just look at that face. Definitely deserves to be loved. <laughs> she said Mr. Happy Face had previously lived in a person's house who hoarded and his conditions were abominable. He was a survivor of abuse and neglect. Vet said with his poor health, the poor dog might only live a few more weeks. Love, kindness, and mommy kisses that I give to my dogs all the time have helped him defy the anticipated short life that all they expected him um, to have. His hobbies include sleeping, snoring, woofing, any sleep, and making odd sounds when he is happy. Dogs of all breeds and sizes and horses have warmed our hearts and fill our lives with unconditional love. Who could not love that face? <laughs> Folks, thank you once again to Cape Red Equine Pactus for sponsoring this episode. We love you girls and all you do for the working cart horses. If you have missed any of our interesting episodes, you can still access them on our Facebook and YouTube channel. There is something for everyone. And as usual, you can see firsthand where your much needed donations are going to. See you all again on the 27th of July. Until then, be safe and take care. Bye, everybody.